my name's Becca and this is my YouTube channel. I forgot I had it for six years and now I'm coming back. Not to talk about books yet, I do want to make some book videos soon. Um, but actually today's video is about The Sims, specifically The Sims 4, specifically building a house in The Sims 4 and very very specifically building Taika Waititi's house in The Sims 4. I realise that it's creepy. Sounds creepy saying it like that. It's not really, because it's like using a Zillow listing. Really, isn't it? Isn't it? I used a floor plan. I just really like watching Sims builds because I have time. We've all been at home for over a year. I've got the time. One of the things that has come out of being at home all of the time because of the thing that's happening in the world at the moment um, is TikTok usage has gone up up a lot gone up very much and one user on there who I follow is Samir and he does these great real estate videos where he talks about celebrity real estate listings and I am nosy so I love his account one of his recent videos talked about Taika Waititi and Chelsea Winstanley's home in Studio City which they sold last year I'll put a video of it here but he talks about the things that he likes about the house, things that we don't like about the house, um, things like use of circular mirrors, things like that. Um, I saw this video and thought that it was the prettiest house I have ever seen and because I spend too much time in the house because of the pandemic, um, I also have been spending too much time on The Sims. So I thought, oh I'll build it on The Sims. I don't like any of my sims enough for them to live in it but I built a really pretty house and I tried hard. I'm not great at building on the sims but I tried. I will insert footage now from me building it but it took like too much time. It took about two hours and the roofing is a mess and then I saw a picture from the back of the house and the roofing in real life is a mess. I really miss when The Sims 4 would just let you do auto roofs and it would just do it. You wouldn't have to mess around with it. Um, I got pictures of the house from the Realtor website and then from the previous sale to get some like different angles to see what that looked like and there was also a floor plan available from the previous sale. So yes, did feel very creepy doing all of that research. Didn't need to do it, but I did need to do it from my own heart to try and make the project, project as true to life as possible. Taika Waititi, if you ever see this, I'm really sorry. Please just don't watch it. Please don't watch it. Please don't. Unless you think it's good. But then again, no.
the bookshelves are in the images of the previous listings so and not maybe not the ones that I used for this video but this is what I want to talk about why is this a thing that happens I just end up deleting all of them to be honest no houses I end up finishing have blinds or curtains all over the house because sims don't care and it just makes me annoyed so yeah I quit on that This section of the house you can see on the floor plan there's a laundry room and then a two car garage but because we are in the sims and they can't drive cars I just kind of left it blank for the shape of the house but it could be used as a skill building room or something like that it's just a big empty room I used CC wardrobes because I did have a mod that used only two tile wardrobes to make it a built-in wardrobe that you could have in the walls but that wasn't working when I tried it in this build so I just used these CC ones. Um, I'll try and include a link to the CC packs because I've used things like the bathroom stuff pack CC for their windows and doors, the, the big windows. The instant success with those blinds in this bit, but not in the kitchen, just completely aggravates me in these two guest bedrooms. I'll put this house on the gallery, I'll call it something, but I'll put a link in the description and my origin ID, which is Rubabeka. And yeah, here are some stills. <laughs> 